Hello, Luke. Good job. We're getting pretty far. Um, so I, I'll send your other video from last week. Now, we really want that pick alternating. Okay, that's really a big part of this week, um, as well as going from string to string, um, not looking at your right hand, right? Four plucks down and up, down, up, down, up, down, all right? And then back, down, up, 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 down, up. Cool. All right, taught you a scale and a chord. You did great on these. All right, so E minor pentatonic scale. E. All right, now we're going to put our middle finger on three of our E, up with our pick. Over to our A string, down, pointer on two, up. D string, same thing, down, pointer on two, up. G string, same thing, down, pointer on two, up. Middle finger, now to three, B, open. Middle finger on three, up with the pick, same thing on D. Or on E, I mean. Alright, so we got 0, 3, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 3. And then we can go backwards. Start on 3 and lift up. 3, 0, 3, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0. And then we have a chord that goes with that, which is our E minor chord. See how nicely that goes with that scale? All right, so this one, it's very important we keep our fingers arched, not in the way of any of the other strings. All right, so we're gonna put our pointer on two of our A and ring finger on two of our D, okay? Right next to each other. And make sure that our, our thumb's on the back and our hand is arched so you're not hitting strings and they're open. It should sound big and beautiful. Go note for note. And if you hear one that sounds like like that or something, push down. And you want every single note to be big and beautiful. All right, Luke, so keep stretching your fingers out. You got a scale. We're going from string to string and a chord. Getting a lot done. I'll see you next week.